On 1 October, I happened to be sitting in my living room. Uh, my sister and her husband were visiting, and my two nieces were attending the Route 91 concert. So there was a personal connection to, to 1 October, as I had uh, two nieces that were involved in this incident. And then immediately I thought, as, as it continued to drag on, we weren't really sure exactly what was going on because we were watching it live, that I might have airmen uh, that were attending that concert. Well, myself and Airman Wilson were at the concert. We were in the middle of the left-hand side of the stage when the shooting started. Sergeant Vanes and myself, we knew it was gunshots, um, and you heard it all at once, and everybody looked confused. We got down on the ground pretty quickly. Yeah, then the lights went black, and you saw Jason Aldean run off the stage. And then we knew we were going to get trampled, so we got up and just took off. We jumped over a gate, and we got behind a cop car and stayed in there for a while, and that's where we saw our first um, victim. There was a man that was being carried, and his whole arm was just blown apart. And That was the first type of situation that I've been in. I work in the clinic, and then I worked in labor and delivery before, so we don't see too many uh, open wounds like that. Sergeant Venegas instantly put pressure on it, and her hand went down, and then the gunshot started again, so we were instantly like, hey, we need to move him. His friends had to help carry him out, and, and I kind of had his arm. And Airman Wilson was actually able, she almost got hit trying to flag down a car just to throw this guy in because at this point the gunfire was still going off. Gunshots constant, it didn't stop. A van drove up and she slowed down and they were still carrying him and we had the van take him to the hospital and we instructed their friends to keep pressure on the arm. The uh, night of October 1st, I actually, for no particular reason, stayed up late. I checked social media one last time because I'm a millennial and that's what we do. Um, but this time it was different. This time I started to see some unsubstantiated reports of something happening on the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, the night of the shooting, I got a text from my flight commander asking if I was home and if I was okay. And I thought that was odd why well, he was waking me up to ask me that. So I uh, checked my phone and checked for the news in Las Vegas and saw that the, the shooting had occurred a few hours before. This is about midnight. My response was down to University Medical Center, the level one trauma center here in Las Vegas, Nevada. The best way I can describe it was controlled chaos. It was what a trauma center like that trains for, prepares for. There were patients everywhere, multiple gunshot wounds. I think we treated over 100 in a short period of time. Colonel Snook was the first person I saw when I got in. He was serving as a senior triage provider, um, and he also took some of the earliest patients to the operating room. By the time I got there, um, there were quite a few patients already in the trauma resuscitation area, probably at least maybe 30 to 40 patients. Well, I think it was just a mass casualty like we see in Afghanistan or deployed settings. Uh, I was in Afghanistan in 2015, and uh, it just ran a lot like I remember from Afghanistan, just everybody pitching in, coming in together, and getting the work done. Nobody really seemed stressed. Nobody was out of control. The resources were never exhausted. Everybody was just playing, doing their part, doing more than their part, working together as a, a well-oiled machine. When I got there, I checked in with Dr. John Files, the chairman of surgery, and asked him what I could do to help. Uh, UMC Trauma, uh, UMC Hospital for that matter, has a long-standing relationship with the 99th Medical and we have a sustainment program for medical and resuscitative readiness. We had at least two or three ORs running with uh, Air Force surgeons staffing the cases, and uh, we had other ancillary personnel from Air Force helping out in nursing and respiratory therapy. As in every day, the um, 99th Medical Wing and the SMART program are just a huge component of the care that we have here at UMC, and the impact that it has made um, I, I can't even put it into words. I just know that when they're here, I can breathe a little easier. Uh, I can't begin to tell you how thankful we were to have them. Uh, we needed everybody we could get. The, the SMART program uh, is uh, integrating military personnel into civilian trauma centers to allow us to have exposure to the trauma uh, that we'll see when we deploy. We had to be sure that we had a team to come in that was fresh every 12 hours. We had to have a team ready to come in 7 a.m. the next day. We had to make sure that we could stay F12 on and 12 off for at least the next 10 days. And uh, without their help, uh, it would have been very difficult to, to meet those requirements. 
Kind of what we train for in the military and what we see in the deployed environment is traumatic injuries, you know, whether those are from gunshot wounds or improvised explosives. So I think that that training was uh, quite helpful. Uh, University Medical Center is a busy uh, level one trauma center and, you know, this night was uh, not too dissimilar from other nights uh, with the exception of there were quite um, a lot more patients. University Medical Center took care of over 100 victims and if they arrived with a heartbeat, those victims survived. We had a total of six, six of our active duty medics from the 99th Medical Group that were attending the concert and provided first aid, um, tourniquets, bandages, and helped transport some of the patients to the local trauma center. Uh, so once Sergeant Venegas and myself got the armed guy into the van over to the hospital, um, we from that time separated because there was a lot of people lined up on the sidewalks and we knew that we were better working separately than in a pair just because there were so many victims. Uh, our military training definitely did help. Um, we have went through the same training. We both knew the exact you know, same steps to take with triage, with wound care. Uh, the military training, it, it has helped us just because they always talk about you know, when you're in combat or in war and you don't go to a concert and expect that. And the fact that, I mean, we knew instantly what it was and we had our guard up and we, it was, there was no question about it. It wasn't, it wasn't fight or flight, it was fight. <laughs>